Welcome Eurovision fans and friends, all of the above. It's time to get back to songs that I've missed. Uh, I wouldn't say skipped, I just got behind. <laughs> so let's take a look at Slovenia with the song Voda, or water in English. I have not heard Slovenia yet. So let's check it out. Anna Soklich, if I'm saying it right. <laughs> That's pretty. distinct voice. Got strong and then subtle. Very nice voice. <laughs> wow. Okay, I had zero expectation of her getting that high hearing how low her voice vocal range was wow wow <laughs> oh. <laughs> i wasn't expecting that ending there that's uh that's excellent anytime you have a singer like this who's capable of singing like that and very few are you have a shot to qualify for sure but not always, and sometimes great vocalists get left behind in the semifinals. Unfortunately, that happens way too often. Oh, the song, it, it's a slow build. It does have a big, big, big end there. Oh, can it qualify? Um, I don't know. It, it should be able to qualify. In modern Eurovision, I don't know. It sounds a little dated. It's a strong song, a strong ballad. She's one of the most best singers in the contest this year, I think. Hearing that, I mean, I'm blown away by her vocals. The song itself, though, might be a little slow for people. Will the jury take to it? Uh, I don't know. Will the voters, if she sings like that, she brings it, she might get some votes based on that. Uh, Slovenia's done pretty well. Last year with Sebi and Lea Sirk, 
they're on a roll a little bit. So Slovenia has built up a bit of a following. Um, it's certainly possible. I want this to qualify. I want to see this in the finals. You know, when you have a great singer like this, I, I value that so much. The ability. I like seeing good acts get rewarded, not acts that have some sort of gimmick to them, I guess. You know, I, I don't need an act that stands up there and has a weird dance or has some kind of... that That's not a good song, you know. There, there are plenty of acts that are... People like them because they're weird or they're memes or whatever. And uh, then good songs get passed over for that. So I'm on the bandwagon. I, I've, I've said earlier this year, I think there's two types of Eurovision fans. There's the ones that like the crazy out there songs and there's the ones that like the slower ballads and everything like that. Uh, and a lot of people in the middle, I'm just generalizing it, you know. Um, but I like when a song like this is a great song, great vocalist gets rewarded and gets to go to the finals. Uh, I'm very much a fan of this. I think Slovenia did a great job. Very beautiful, that stage, too, in the national finals, if they can bring out the effects of that. I love the colors. I'm a big fan of blues and greens, the hues there. I love forests and stuff, so <laughs> that's going to be yeah, kind of like, you know, Salvador Sobral. I love the staging for that. It was simple and effective. I really enjoyed it. So uh, this I love too. Very beautiful. I like beautiful things. So seeing that setting on the stage really speaks to me. I'm a big fan of animals and wildlife and all that. So that kind of stage always always makes me happy to see. So yeah, Slovenia. I really enjoy that. She's uh, She's got a great voice. Big voice. We'll have to see how it's going to do. So, qualifying, uh, you know, I'm unsure at this point. I'll listen to the song a couple more times, see what it's up against. I am i haven't done much as far as um, studying the semifinals too deeply. I'm going to be releasing very shortly predictions for who will qualify. I'll do predictions before the after parties, after parties, before the pre-parties, and then I'll do some after the pre-parties as well. Uh, that'll be my final picks. Because they always change. I'll just give you what I think right now before seeing live acts, and then I'll give you a uh, pre-party pick right before the contest, like May 1st. Uh, also be thinking about my top list. I'll have a full top list probably mid-April. I'm thinking I'll do that then. I'm still shuffling through songs and trying to decide which is my favorite. It's very hard. I've got about 10 or 11 songs that are right there in the top, and a lot of songs in the middle. It's really hard to play some more than others. Very few songs I dislike. Oh, it's a tough year. It really is. So let me know. Do you like Slovenia? Let me know in the comment section. Like, love, dislike, meh, hate. <laughs> um, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about Slovenia this year and what do you think are its chances to qualify because I'm very interested in hearing from people. Do you think the song sounds dated or you think it's good for for the contest. I'm not saying a dated song can't be good, but, um, you know, sometimes that leaves you dead in the water. I'm thinking Montenegro with Inye, which I thought was one of the best songs of the that year, and, and unfortunately it was considered dated by many and didn't do very well. But, yeah, great songs are always left behind. It sucks. Like Breathlessly from Malta, some of these songs that are just absolutely fall in love with get left behind and it's a shame it really is but that's the contest so we gotta live with it right <laughs> okay for now lethargic sloth out <laughs>